we do not go over here. <laughs> we don't look great. I'm great. You will, you always look fantastic. Thank you. It is not showing up here. It will show up eventually. Hello. Oh, there we go. Showed up? Yeah. This is the first time we've live streamed, so we're figuring things out. Um, as it turns out, you can't just like live stream from your phone, which is what I wanted to do. I had to like move my computer to our kitchen. It was a whole thing. A lot of lessons were learned. A lot of lessons. Now, uh, I imagine it's going to take a couple minutes for everyone to get in here. So until we get there, I just want to express the ridiculousness that is what we have in front of us and also apologize for like all the baking things on the side. <laughs> I got a lot of baking pans this week from a friend. Anyways, um, our, our mildest sauce is called Sauce Bay. It's a skinny hot sauce, which, I mean, it sounds like it's going to be full of flavor. Can you pass me the Reaper? Yeah. This hot sauce is over 1.5 million Scovilles. For reference, uh, Sriracha is 2,200 and Frank's hot sauce is 350. 1.5 million. We've never gone this high. Never. And the highest we went was like 700,000? Yeah, I'd say around 700,000. I think we have a list here. I typed out all the known Scoville levels of our hot sauces. And the ones that have a kind of a rough estimate, so. And rough estimate. The hottest that we know we've ever had is 700,000. Oh, this is going to hurt. I'm going to cry really a lot. I'm going to cry a lot. <laughs> yeah, okay. You figured it out? I figured it out. It took me eight years, but I figured it out. I'm an old man. We're old. You don't understand the live stream game. We're getting in there, in there a little too late. Well, you Twitch. You do the Twitch. That's off your PS4. That's off my PS4, and I'm also not visible on it, because I don't like my face. Not now, your face. If we get a... Uh, if somebody shows up here, if you let us know if we're loud enough, I would appreciate it, because I do not know how loud we have to be. Another thing you have to learn about live streaming is that as soon as another person comes in, you have to re-explain what's going on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, see. No, 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 no. Yes. Um, so, obviously, we came prepared. I mean, as prepared as you can be, we have milk. We have a pitcher of milk, a glass for milk, uh, three water bottles each. Yep. We were going to have Coca-Cola as our sweet thing, but Ryan didn't grab it, so... Oh, I forgot about the Coca-Cola. <laughs> it's fine. You hate us. It's going to be so bad once we get down there. Are you, are you sure? The carbonation, I think, would probably mess us up a bit, so I think okay. milk is a better bet. Well, I think beer was really soothing, but then again, beer did not... was maybe not the best thing to drink after a bunch of hot sauce. No. But, like, if we drink milk from, like, here to there, man, no. we're going to feel so sick. Obviously, my goal is to not have a single drop of milk. I don't play this game. That is my goal. I'm not here for this game. No water, unless I'm thirsty. Which, I mean, it'll be hard to for them to decipher that, but... Mm -mm. I don't play this no-liquid game. I'm here to taste the hot sauces, to have the time, not to push myself to the brink of death. Okay, I see somebody is here with us now. If you would be the person who tell us if we're talking loud enough, it would be appreciated because we do not know any, like, I have no idea. I have no this idea. Is our, this is the first time I've ever YouTube live streamed, so. I apparently did a test stream, uh, God knows how long ago, because it showed up when I was trying to do this. I don't remember doing that. I feel like it might have been a drunk adventure of mine. <laughs> Perhaps. I, Lord knows that. I mean, we do have an indication there on the mic. It doesn't seem good. <laughs> no, it seems like I don't even know how loud I have to go. Hello. Oh god. Yeah, that's think, really loud. That's, that's too yelling. loud. Okay. So I hope that we can be heard. If I'd known that we're gonna do this setup, I would have taken the like hour to set up our mics out here instead of the five minutes. Yeah, have. the like I think I set this whole thing up in about five minutes. Um. I hope everyone's doing well. I mean, we're still waiting, I guess, for a couple people. How's the chat looking? It seems people have seen it. People have seen it. Well, that's good. Oh, we got it. Somebody else is here. Until they're gone oh, again. Em Emily, volume is fine, I think. Just a little echoey. Uh, well, well, we are in a large room. Yes, that is unfortunate. But Also, camera quality is garbage, but that's fine. Well, we, there was a lot of things we didn't know <laughs> last minute that had to be fixed. True. True. So. Well, oh, we lost somebody. That's okay. Whoever they were. It wasn't, it wasn't for them. This isn't for them. 
Um, I don't know if we should get started, get started or not. No, I think we should probably wait. You want to wait it out for a minute? Okay. I want to see at least five of them. You want to see five people? Okay. Five people would be nice. I can just... Are, you also, you're another one of these. I forgot you also do Here's that. Here's the bottom line. Well, I mean, I, I change it up. I talk my hands, you know? Um... Okay, well, I'm at least going to explain how we normally do things here. Oh. Oh, we got an A. A! A. Um, how this normally works for us, if you haven't seen the videos we've done, the three, I think it's three other videos. Yeah. Um, those were not live streams. Those were, like, tightly edited portions. Generally, we go from the lowest Scoville to the highest Scoville in our taste test. Normally, we do, like, eight sauces at a time. Today, we're doing 21? 21, yes. 21 sauces in a row. We're going to die. I, I don't know how we're going to go to work tomorrow, but it's going to be painful. Um, generally, okay, the other thing, and I don't know why we decided to do this. Oh, you're scared for us. You should be. I think you should be, um, yes. <laughs> I don't know why we decided to test on chicken wing nuggets. I think because we didn't want to do it on chicken wings and look like we were copying hot ones. And also because I like chicken nuggets more than chicken wings. You guys can fight me on that, but I think chicken, I, I like more meat. I, I, love I don't like the chicken bones. I love bone and chicken wings. No. Yeah, when we so, go for wings, it's not great. So for those people who are not familiar with hot sauces, our weakest one here, uh, Sauce Bay, which is, you know, I'm guessing. How much is Sauce Bay? Sauce Bay is only 2,500 in terms of Scoville. We're going to be using Scoville's units to kind of, which is a rough um, guess anyway in terms of how it heat. But essentially this one is a little bit hotter than Sriracha. Yeah, just like you wouldn't really notice the difference. So yeah, that, that's where we're starting today. We started last, like on our first ever video on Franks, which is like, what, 400? 400? 500? Franks is 450. 450. So like, we, we started pretty low. Yeah, and once again, our hottest sauce of the day is a one point, I'll actually tell you the exact, 1,569,300 Scobills. That's this one here. How hot was that one? I almost died trying last time. Which one did we get her to try? Which one did we get Emily to try? I think she. Ooh. I think she tried. Um. Well, if it was the dip, it would have been Son of Zombie and um, the Black Garlic. Those two. Yeah. So I would say that those two combined would be about. 80 to 100,000 scoville. In the dip, though. In the dip, though, would I'd probably bring them be... down to, like, 20. No, they're really... so weak in the dip. I'd say 30. We'll, we'll, we'll compromise and say 30. So about 30,000 was the dip. Yeah, that's your reference point. Uh, to anyone who isn't uh, Emily in the comments, <laughs> I'm sorry if that wasn't helpful for you, but she needed to know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whip our uh, wings over nuggets. Oh! <gasps> Oh, really? I'm in the winning team. Oh. I'm on the winning team. Suck up. What a suck up that guy is. I mean, I'm the one who feeds people. <laughs> That's true. Of course, true. people are going to suck up to me. I give them food. I give them a beverage three hours too late. <laughs> uh, Ryan's talking about his ability to host right now. Generally, somebody comes over and I'm like, hey, can I get you anything here? Eat the food. I made it for you. And Ryan sits there and is like, oh, shit, I was supposed to get you something like two hours ago. What is this? Has, have we started? Here we stand. Oh, here we stand. Sorry, the screen is so far away from us and neither of us have lost it. Um, that's a, I think that's a Game of Thrones thing. Here we stand. I have no idea. But it might be Game of we're not five people. You Are we allowed to, to start without five people? You already insisted. We're five people. Five? We are oh, five people. Oh, we are people. five people? Okay, let's do this. Okay, well, just so everyone knows, uh, Mormont? It says it might be. It might be. I think it, here we stand. I think it might be House Mormont even, or something like that. He can he can confirm it. Honey, you know what might be a good idea is take out your phone and then have the chat on your phone. Oh yeah, so, you can read so I don't have to feel like an old man staring at a screen. <laughs> oh, he says correct. Yeah. All right. Yes. Let's get this started. We dropped a viewer again. That's fine. Don't okay. Start it. People, man. Y'all ready? No, I have to I have to fall out on my phone now. Okay, well I'm I'm just gonna start plating up. Now Brian insisted that we kept all the sleeves on to prove that we hadn't tried them before, which is good in theory, but it means you have to take where's the knife? Oh. So that's you never grab anything I asked for. No, um, never. I'll be back. Maybe. This boy, I tell you. 
Where's the garbage can? Yep. We're amateur is what you're learning at this moment. Uh, oh, we have somebody else saying I'm here. Is that a pitcher of milk? It is a pitcher of milk, Linnea. It is. We need it. <laughs> we do need it. <laughs> do we need it? Um, it's going to be very painful. We're going to reach a point where we're going to be crying. Um, it'll just be snot. I hope you have a box of tissues nearby. Um, it's going to be awful. Anyway, so I have to take every sleeve off for each sauce. This one is our sauce bay. It's at 2,500. It's made with turmeric, which, I mean, that could be fun. This one is supposed to be all flavor. It's also vegan and gluten-free if that's a selling feature for you. It's not. But it's pineapple as its, like, biggest flavor component, so we'll see how she goes. <laughs> okay. I'm glad that you are prioritizing us to class. Interesting. Who's in class? No, uh, Devin is. Oh, oh, dude. No, no, he's in class and watching the stream at the same time. <laughs> If, he has any, if there's any questions about Sauce Bay, <laughs> you'll be able to answer them. You'll be set. He will be set. Oh, by the way, this their slogan is the only bay you need. <laughs> uh, that might be true. We'll see. How oh, dare you? That's it. These are my six McNuggies. Okay, so uh, again, for people who are watching, uh, Sauce Bay is at uh, 2500 Scoville, which is a little bit hotter than Sriracha. So. That's where we're starting off today. Uh, just to let you know, we're going to kind of tell you flavor, heat level, and whether or not we like it, and kind of move on to the next one, so this doesn't take six hours. Also, for people who are maybe not aware of this, I am going to try my hardest to not try any milk or water the entire time here. I don't live by these rules. I live by every rule. Okay, okay. We are talking about cables. Yeah, that's what they're talking about in class. Oh. <laughs> And you see, hey, he's paying attention already, so that's good. I mean, I'm glad. Stay in school, kids. Stay in school. Okay. Okay. This Ooh. one's a safe one. We can completely coat them. Yeah, kind of. It, it smells kind of like a taco sauce. Yeah. It smells very... Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's delicious. That is. A little bit of salt. A little bit of salt, yeah. It kind of reminds me of sweetness, a little bit of kick. So it reminds me kind of a little bit of a secret art bar, which is another oh, one. Yeah. But not, not as uh, not as heavy in the peppers, I don't think. If you're not a hot sauce person, I would say this is a light taco seasoning flavoring. Yeah. With a little bit more punch underneath. It's yeah. great. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that is the bay, only bay I need. I see. Okay. Now this one is called here. I'll just give you the list, honey, so you can you can rock this. Ed. I can rock the phone, the live chats, and this. Okay, so the next one is top tapito, tapito, tapito. I don't know if that's a place, if that's a Spanish no word. Idea. It's salsa picante. It's supposed so to be. Sorry, Carlos. I'm so sorry. It's about uh, three thousand. <laughs> a forward flavor, yes. It's Very like, front forward. Oh, all of these. Flavors. I can't read this. It's in not English. <laughs> es una salsa, muy salsa. Yeah, yes, moy. But it's made in California. It's not Mexican. I learned recently that salsa just means sauce in Spanish. Yeah, we just learned that. This is a very basic sauce. Right. Red pepper, salt, jam and gum. Yeah, it was in the, the Italian Center, actually, if you were looking to get it. This oh, one. Yeah. yeah. You can buy this in the Italian Center. in Yeah. So. What do you say it is? It's not on here because you forgot to write it, but it's uh, 3000 Because I remember off the top of the noggin. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, oh no! It has one of these stoppers. I mean, that's good, but not for not for like three thousand Scoville hot sauces. Get get that for these ones over here. We not... have noticed that, like, if it's a grocery store hot sauce, it'll have this guard that stops you from dumping the whole bottle in. But if it's like five hundred thousand Scovilles, and it will literally hurt your intestines from eating it, yeah. they won't have those. Mm -hmm. How many rodents is it? How many rodents? I don't. I, I don't know that measurement. Is. I don't know what that is. An amount? I'd say more or about three. <laughs> Around there. <laughs> more or about three. Oh my dear. I man, I'm getting too old for this. Get your glasses on here. I don't want to get my glasses. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, did I miss a Chernobyl reference? You might have. Oh uh, smooth uh, was it a front forward Chernobyl flavor? 
I don't think that was very front forward. I think that was just horrifying. 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 It's okay, honey. Words are hard. English is not my first language. It is. It is his first language. I like having that excuse, though. No, you can't use that when it's a lie. Okay, this one kind of reminds me of Valentina's. Valentina's is another grocery store level hot sauce. That, which is kind of more specifically for tacos. It's very much a taco one. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Sauce base better. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of, yeah, I'm missing something. Like there it's isn't... so basic. You could put that on just about anything for just a little bit of heat yeah. and it would be fine. Yeah. It's kind of like a, a Frank's, but not vinegary. Yeah. Like Frank's, they say you can put on anything, but that vinegar flavor punches you right in the eyes. Think of this as Frank's for oh, people who doesn't like getting punched in the eyes. It's a Chernobyl reference. I get that. The Roten the, the Jones. Yeah, you haven't seen it, so you're, you're excused. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. So I, I feel you guys. I'm sorry. If you guys want to stop watching because of that, you should. I mean, or don't. Please don't leave us. <laughs> Stay with me. All right, next one up is Fat oh, Cat. I was so excited about this favorite. one. Yeah, okay, so it's that. peach, maple, and bourbon. Mm. If anyone knows me, you know I love bourbon. It's about and that's what I should be drinking right now. So we made a big jump here. Last one was between 500 school bills. Now we're up to 10,000 school bills on this. Roughly, we don't know exactly. I don't know how well you guys can see the logos on these. Like, you can obviously see that we have them stacked here. Um, it is a cat with sunglasses. And he just has this little smirk, like, mm, I'm here for you. I got you. I got you. Kindred spirits. Mm. Ooh. Oh, it's got, it's got something to it, I can tell you. Apparently, we have a, a lot of hot sauces, apparently, to somebody. I mean, this is, I mean, what, we usually have about 30 hot sauces in the house at this given moment? Um, yeah, we generally balance between, like, 30 to 40 sauces. Yeah. Um, Ryan and I had to make a deal because we wanted to save some money. And I was like, okay, we are not getting any more sauces until we're down to 10. We, when we're down to 10 sauces, we can get sauces. Um, so it, we went from 40 to 10 in like what, two months? Three months? I, I want to say three months. We'll say three months. Yeah, we eat a lot of hot sauce. And the ones that are left over are the worst ones because of the ones we didn't want to eat or, or the, the or strongest. Exactly. They're just like too much. It's face meltingly hot. And like, we like really hot sauces, but like sparingly, you can't like hurt yourself every day and expect your life to be great. That's true. Anyways, you ready for some fat cat? Uh, I am. Are you keeping up with the chat? I am. I'm trying to. Cause Oh, so oh, Ryan started chugging hot sauces. Not quite, but we were marinating chickens a lot. I like to have um, wraps, so like a lot of hot sauces. Mo like nine out of ten hot sauces mix very well with mayo. That is true. So if you can't handle the heat for some of these hot sauces, just mix in a little bit with mayo, and then you're good. Yeah, you're good. I mean, I also would go out of my way to eat cheese and crackers, and then douse the whole thing in a hot sauce. You know, this and then I'd be sad because it hurt a lot, but I'd keep doing it so we could get new sauces. This kind of looks like a, a plum sauce, even you know. Yeah, it kind of looks like a sweet. Uh, okay. Thai chili sauce. Yeah, that's what that's. Yeah. Oh, I'm just not picking up a lot here now. No, excuse me. Okay. okay. It smells. I don't know if I call it peach. I definitely smell like that kind of barrel aged bourbon scent. Yeah. I'm excited. Let's try. Cheers. Oh, bring this up. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. Is that a hot sauce? It's so sweet. Yeah. It's so yummy. Like, I want to put that on pancakes. It's like a marinade. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the, maybe, like, it'll take a second for the heat to kick in, but it's not kicking in. I so, feel a little on the on the top of my mouth, but barely. No, nah, I'm not getting anything, even. I mean, next time, okay, guys, next time we have a breakfast at our house, you guys can try it on your pancakes, and you'll be like, damn, this is good, like, good sauce. And I'll be like, yeah, for your pancakes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, maybe with some bacon. So I'm going to say I'm a little disappointed. I want to uh, hope for a little bit more kick, a little bit, I don't know. I'm, I, I, it sounded delicious. No, it is and delicious. It just doesn't have a lot of heat. Yeah. But okay, with everything that we say, we, again, we eat a lot of hot sauces. Yeah. If we say it's not spicy, it doesn't mean that it's not spicy for other people. Right. <laughs> like some of you guys in the comments, y'all know, because we give you hot sauces that we're like, oh, it's so great. And then you guys, well, I'm not going to say you cry, 
But uh, you feel the heat pretty quick. That's true. That is true. So. On to the next sauce. I guess at one point we're going to switch and then I'll start grabbing the hot sauces. So. Yeah, once we hit a half through the table, I'm not reaching Oh, yes. For you. Fried chicken and waffles. Oh. <gasps> yes, that would be delicious. We could do that, actually. We could do that. We you absolutely. make a solid chicken tender. I do. So that and then the waffles and we're good. We just need a waffle maker. Yeah, we should we should consider doing that. When COVID is not restricting our movements, uh, brunch plans, anybody? <laughs> what? I mean, Carson's, he, he's not messaging in the, the YouTube. He's on the group chat. He's on the group chat. So I have to kind of cut back. <laughs> oh, the, Carson. the quote from Carson, who actually from Maddie, is that that's a shitload of hot sauces. <laughs> well, Maddie, it is yes. a shitload of hot sauces. And then some of the sauces you give us do make us cry. I thought that somebody is... <laughs> <laughs> is recording the is like has the written record on what we are saying and what oh, once upon a time when Ryan was streaming regularly, Carson would be in the comments just making me laugh cry. I need to make a short list of the best all the best sauces. We will when we stop trying new sauces. We have like a rough list of ones that we both like a lot. Oh, yeah. Well I do well, okay. Self shill for a second. Um, on my website, I you know, went through yeah. every single hot sauce we've had up to date, and I've written my, like, assessment of the flavor on them. Yeah. I think I've done a couple, like, top five lists for, like, the best hot sauces I found that year. So if you want to dig through evilblakeman.com, you can find some of our opinions, but I'm not going to make you do that. Yeah. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyways, our next one up, you, are, you really wanted this. It is Heartbeat Hot Sauce. This one is their pineapple habanero, so it should be fairly sweet. It's a fermented sauce, which they tend to be a little bit heavier in flavor. Yeah, that one is at 12,200. So again, we're still in the pretty mild section here. Throw down a... When, when do you think things stop, stop getting mild? I think 30,000 is kind of where it starts having that little kick. Okay, when we were new to the hot sauce world, I think a lot of like 20 to 30,000s were kind of our limit. Yeah. For the first little while, and now I think twenty to thirty thousand is something we can eat comfortably. Yeah. Like I can put that on a piece of chicken and eat it, and I'm happy. Yeah. Um, I guess yeah, we gotta start opening our own boxes now. We already went through the shared ones. Okay, so I was you just gonna did, you're just gonna put it on, okay? Oh, sure. Yeah, because we got the squeeze bottle. Is it gonna artiste? All hot sauces should come in squeeze bottles. I agree. I don't know why most don't. It's such a good idea. Oh, the color is so pretty. Yeah. Okay, that's. Uh, I see how you gave yourself extra. That's that's nice. Well, I, I didn't give myself extra. I can't actually smell it. I can smell the chicken mostly. I can smell the habanero. Yeah, just the habanero. Yeah. You ready? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. First one to have a little bit of kick. I like that. That's a good sauce. That's a solid sauce. A little sweet, a little bit of heat. Yeah. Crawls over the tongue slowly with the heat, but that sweetness just hits you. Yeah, I, I kind of think of, yeah, it almost tastes like a, I like don't want to say a barbecue sauce, but like a spicy no. barbecue taste. It's, it's tangy. Want, yeah, it has tang, but I wouldn't yeah. call it a barbecue sauce. What's in here that's making it? Okay, well, yellow peppers, so that adds some of the sweetness. Yeah, Pineapple. That, yeah. yeah. Um, onion, always. Uh, cane sugar. Oh, we have some malted barley. Oh, and some ale. Ah, ale. All right. Oh, it's a little bit basic when you look at the ingredients, but the flavor is good. Okay. It's, a, it's so far out of what we've had. If you want an actual hot sauce that's like not super spicy, because we're going to jump again, I think, pretty quick here to a much higher. Oh, probably. This one. This one is for your average person who wants something a little spicy but doesn't want to die. What did uh, what just came up? Nothing. <laughs> It's that. That's that's what it was. Oh, it's a good sauce. Not a bad sauce. Uh, the one we just had is Heartbeat. Heartbeat, Heartbeat Hot Sauce. Pineapple and uh, Habanero. Pineapple Habanero. Heartbeat Hot Sauce out of Thunder Bay, Ontario. So you're supporting Canadian companies. Yeah. You ready for this next one? Yes. Actually, this one isn't that much of a jump if I remember correctly. This is uh, 14,000. This is Queen Majesty's... Uh, red habanero and black coffee. This is the only hot sauce I, I, we know of that has black coffee in it. Well, yeah, I haven't seen another sauce with black coffee. You also don't hear a lot about red habaneros. Yeah. Um, we've had a Queen Majesty sauce in the past. It was a ginger and scotch bonnet. Not my thing, but I loved it. It was so like it tasted gingery. very fresh. It was Too very gingery. gingery. 
This one might be very strong coffee flavor. I'm not sure. But I really liked the company, so I decided maybe, we needed Maybe more. this is what I'll be adding to my coffee. Add a little bit of kick. No. <laughs> well, you don't know. I might. Um, is there anything else odd in here? No. No, just there's just, a little bit of ginger in here. They, they seem to have, want to have like one weird one because they have a hotter one that I think has charcoal in it. And it's like oh, that's because everyone is all about activated charcoal, which I mean, cool. It, it changes the color of food, but also it's really just it's really great for stopping you from dying of poisons. Yeah, but what happens if you deactivate that? Oh, I mean, the world collapses and the carbon atom ceases to exist. So not good. Not good. Not good for hot sauce, at least. Not good, David. <laughs> Okay, all right. So, you ready? I oh, so, by the way, okay, because these were shipped and they sat for a long time, that's why I'm shaking them so much. You don't normally have to shake that much. They are like Polaroid pictures. That must, yeah. You're actually not supposed to shake a Polaroid picture. You're, you're, telling, me, you're telling me Outcast was wrong? Yeah. Are you telling me that? Yes. I'm not going to sit at the same table with you if you're going to say that. How oh. dare you? But it's true. You're not supposed to shake them. It distorts the. Yeah, it's fine. Um, <laughs> and nobody uses them anymore. It doesn't matter. But people still listen to Outcast, so we... That does... He had one song that anyone listened to. He? There's two of them. There's Big Boy there's and... There's two people at Outcast? Yeah! Big Boy and Andre 3000. Oh, I know a band. On Andre. Everybody knows Andre. <laughs> okay, you ready, guys? Yes. Oh, I can kind of see the black coffee. Yeah, I can see the specks of it in there. Yeah. Like, okay. do they just put coffee ground? <laughs> just like, ah, I'm, I'm done with my coffee. Just pour it in this thing. We'll see how Well, works. I've seen their kitchens, and like... They do everything in very small batches. Okay. It's hard to get. So I feel like it's probably just like freshly ground coffee beans they put in there. What are you getting? I don't know. Not ginger, but... Something yeah, it's like, ginger. Is that ginger? Yeah, yeah, that smells really yummy. Are you ready? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that one also has a little bit of kick, too. That's it good. has a little bit of kick. This is what I think would be great on cheese. Good cheese sauce. Maybe the coffee is the thing that adds a little bit... I'm not, not necessarily that it's very bitter, but there's a slight bitterness to it. Maybe that's what's going on there. See? There is a little Already bit of bitterness. Oh, no, I'm thirsty. I've been thirsty since we started. No. I wanted pop, but he wouldn't grab me the pop. So that I wouldn't, it's that I'm lazy and I forgot. These are important distinctions to make. Excuses. Also those. <laughs> All right. So. Do you have any more comments? No, I, I can't see anything. So. Nobody's got anything to say. They're just. I mean, I mean, right now we're not suffering. Right now we're we're in our glory. We're in our. Yeah, we're kind of in the comfortable zone. I imagine, like, I'm starting to get a little bit of heat. Yep. Also, I didn't tell anybody this. I should tell you this. Yesterday, I had a really, really, really bad allergic reaction, and my tongue swelled up to the point where, like, I have slits on my tongue um, that are, like, bleeding. I'm going I'm to be honest with you. Um, oh, watching intently. Oh, thank you. Um, uh, anyways, my tongue swelled up, and it, like, split in the back. So when we get to these hotter sauces, not only are they attacking my mouth, they're, like, attacking wounds. Okay. So just be aware of that. Also, if somebody can, someone tell me what movie this is from. I'm listening. I'm listening intently. Tell me. Comment it. Comment down below. I know what movie that's from. Comment on the side for us because it's kind of yeah. The chat's on the, chat's on the side. The chat's on the side. It's weird. Um. Yeah, you know what it's from because I because I quote it all the time. Okay. No, I quoted it, and then you decided it's quotable. Okay. So here we have Aubrey D, a company we have never had before. <clears throat> It's very hard for us to find hot sauces in the city. This we actually found, this, all the Aubrey D's we found in Edmonton. Uh, we found them at Cabela's of all places because a Boilermaker I used to work with hooked us up with that. So thank you to him. It's, you you don't have any of those on here. So, no, so I know. just have a, the last one. You just I couldn't last find one. them. Couldn't even find them. So this one we're assuming that it's in the like 20 to 50,000 range. Yeah, because Chipotle is generally not that hot. Yeah, Chipotle is not, like, a smoking hot, but I didn't read the ingredients. It could be hotter. We got a shout-out for Cabela's, because I guess somebody somebody likes their fudge. Ooh, I love Oh, wait, did somebody actually shout-out Cabela's? Well, um, in, in the, Carson did in the Facebook oh, chat. Oh, of course Carson did in the Facebook I guess we just have to tell you what Carson's saying. Yes. I mean, it, well, I mean, they can see. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, I don't see anything in here that would make this, like, deathly hot. Though it says extremely hot, use with caution. 
But they all say that. They all, um, yeah. Okay, Famous so. last words. They all say that. Uh, Are you cheating? You're not going to even let me. Ooh. What? I, want, I want a stiff thing. Well, it has a smoky delight. Oh, scent. I love it. I love it already. It smells so good. This might be my new favorite sauce. I think, how much were these? Like $11? They were pretty, these were very, very affordable, expensive. Yeah. And you could buy them in m So if these are good, yeah. then they're good and you know where they are. Oh, see, Dennis trying to figure out the quote. He thinks he knows it, but he, he, he's, he hasn't what given an answer. He's like, I swear I know it. He probably, he's probably right. Everybody knows this. Everyone knows it. You Everybody definitely it. have seen what it's from. Yes. Oh, it's a little bit chunky. That's fine. But I, I mean, I've been looking for a nice Chipotle sauce. I really like Chipotle. And if this is something we can just pick up around the corner. Oh, I would be, that would be golden. Because the one that I really liked, uh, Dream Dragon, which was made oh. by Big Fats. They went out of business. The company did. But like they had a great, sweet, smoky Chipotle sauce. It was a really, it was really good sauce. Delicious. I saved him the last bit of that sauce for weeks, even though I wanted it yeah. so he could have the last bit. That's love right there. <laughs> It's almost looking like molasses. What? No, molasses is way thicker. You know what? Yeah, you're probably. I, I don't. Don't ever trust my opinion with these things. If I say it looks like something, nine times out of ten, I haven't even seen it. With molasses recently? No, I think we mentioned molasses. No, no, I did. The uh, the peanut butter bars I made. Smells just as good on this. You ready? Oh yeah. Hmm. Viscous. Mm hmm. Hmm. It kind of disappeared into the chicken there a bit. I think that's like if you were to say a chipotle barbecue sauce. Yeah. But you didn't want it to be sticky. Like maybe it's not sticky and sweet. This would be your barbecue sauce. Yeah. I could see it working well on anything that you put on a grill. I'd probably switch these two. I'm not really getting as much of a kick. Yeah, yeah I feel like I'm actually going to... We're going to physically switch them. Sorry. You got demoted, Chipotle. <laughs> this is not as hot. Yummy, though. Now, this next one, I don't believe is hotter than those ones. Oh, this... I don't believe it. Because it's a jalapeno sauce. It is a jalapeno sauce. We didn't pay for this. Um, as I don't know if you guys know. When you order a lot of hot sauces from Hot Sauce Unlimited, it's a website in Canada... Um, when you order a bunch of them, they'll just start sending you free ones along the way. Yeah. I think, I don't know how many free sauces we've gotten in this last year, but it's got to be more than like 12 or 15 at this point. Yeah. Very so, nice. I recommend if you need to buy hot sauces online, buy from them. Oh, yeah. They they have really reasonable shipping rates. Um, they do flat rates, which is nice. And they'll send you free stuff. Like, exactly. support them. They're great. Yeah. Anyways, yes, this is called Smoke Show Lightly Smoked Jalapeno Hot Sauce. It's not even Ooh. fully smoked. My mouth is already starting to salivate. <laughs> I mean, I have a little bit of burn presence in my mouth in general from the hot sauces, but I don't have nothing so unmanageable. Burn. This is also a vegan product if you are a vegan. Wow. But um, is, I think is, it's is really it, easy to make them vegan. Vegans and hot sauces, is there some kind of correlation there? Well, I think unless you use honey as your sweetener, what else would possibly screw that up? Um, this one is jalapeno, water, a little bit of maple syrup, a little bit of lemon, uh, a little bit of salt, a little, a little bit of mustard. Little so bit it of seems this, like a very a simple bit of sauce. It started with a kiss, and now we're up to bat. I don't remember what that next line is. A little bit of this, a little bit of this. Something like that. Yeah. You ready? Yes. Uh, did you see the skull notes on this one? Oh, it's it's set. We you have I think roughly twenty thousand. Roughly twenty thousand. I don't believe you. I don't believe it. Well, okay. Again, a lot of these companies don't actually post. They should. This give you a rough idea because I, one man like you can't call this one. Like, which one said this one? He was caution. You can't have that with this one because <laughs> that's not the same. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a call. Oh, this is very professional. Yeah, we it's really, uh, really plan. You're gonna answer live? No, oh, are you, you're not. No, oh. no, I'm just gonna have to text her back in a minute. It's my boss. Excuse me. Please continue. Please continue. Okay, uh, I'll pour it this time. Steal a little smell. See, squeeze bottles. That should be the future of hot sauces. So no one. No one has a single idea what that stands for. I'm listening. 
I'm listening intently. Well, cause, okay, you're not doing it right. Okay. Well, when you want to, I'm gonna do it. do it. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be her. Okay. I'm listening. I'm listening intently. I don't know if that's the best gun mind I've ever seen. Either. Well, it was because I was cocking the gun because she cocks the gun and it's like, I'm listening intently. Yes. Okay. So try hot sauce. Now. Yes. Sorry. Again, I can't control. You can control. I don't know. Something. I don't like that smell. Ooh. Smells sour. Oh, I got some on my nose. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. No, not the professional. What's not professional? Oh, no, not that movie. That's a good movie, though. That's kind of. I don't even know you'd. Yeah, yeah exactly. Moving down the line. Yeah, even there. Even there. I think that's where it belongs. It is, it is much. Uh... Much too chill. Mm. Meh. It was okay. We was fine. But what can you expect from a jalapeno sauce? Yeah, I, I don't think we've ever had a jalapeno sauce before. No. Th thanks for trying, though. I do appreciate that you tried. You brought up a good movie that everyone should watch. So you want to tell them what movie it was? No, I don't. I want them to stew. Oh, okay. Yeah, but somebody could just Google it, and then you look like you... Uh, I mean, I, I think Linnea would be the one to get this. Really? I think so. But that's where that's where I'm putting my chips. So. Gotcha. She's not answering now. I'm getting concerned. <laughs> you might have to go step out here for a second. Oh, oh, Devin. Can you, Kate, okay, you're sort of right. You got to tell me which one, though. You got to tell me which one it is. What did he say? He said pirates. So he's, he's on the right track here. He just needs to name the specific one, and he's golden. How many parts moves I right now? It's five. So he's got a one in five chance if he's just taking a guess. Okay, so while well, you guys do that, um, this is called colon, colon cleanser. Sorry. Um, professor, and I kid you not, fart pounders, colon cleanser. Yeah. Um, a friend of mine strongly recommended that we get this. He sent us to Cabela's, and then we got the Opera D's. So if this, if this is awful, at least we got the Aubrey D's. Yep. Um, it is a Dijon mustard and red wine vinegar sauce. It is. Okay, wait. But which Pirates of the Caribbean is it? <laughs> I understand it's Pirates of the Caribbean. I just need, I need confirmation on the, this one. Wrong. He said Pirates of the Caribbean 3. It's Pirates of the Caribbean 2. It said Man's Chest. Because he uh, breaks her out, or she breaks out, and she shows up in his office. Uh, Swanson's? No, what's his name? The bad guy. Beckett. Beckett. So yeah, you were close. Swan. You were close. Yeah, she's Swan, yeah. Okay. May we continue? Yeah, so uh, what's, this is a mustard-based one, right? Yeah, that's what I said. You want to read the ingredients? I did! You, you want to tell them what hot sauce it is that we're having? <laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> uh, yeah. It has a cool bottle, though. It's like a hip flask. Uh, yeah, I like it. I oh, like geez. Oh, okay, you put a oh, geez. I mean, I hope this one's not killer. What, wait, what is this? Is this 50,000? We have no idea. I thought it was on here, though. Yeah, it's an estimated 50,000. Estimated 50,000. So we could be jumping up pretty significantly here. Well, we could be. I hope so. Jalpeno... That was show? such a smoke show. Smoke show. That was a disappointment. That was a gong show, that one. Oh, it smells sweet. Well, it's probably because of the mustard. Mm. I do like mustard. Ooh. You ready? Mm. Okay, yep. Oh. Mmm. That's like a science experiment in my mouth. I don't understand what I just ate. That it's vinegary right at the end there. It has the kick out of nowhere. Yeah, the wash just hits you out of nowhere. It was a little repulsive, but also yummy. I don't know. Yeah, that is... It's very mustardy. Like, I'd very. like it on french fries, probably. 
Yeah, that one would be, or maybe a hot dog. That might be good on a hot dog. That would be really good on a hot dog. But like, it's weird. Science oh. experiment in my mouth. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the best way I can describe it. It's so it's, weird. Mm, 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 nah. Bunsen burners were going off. Things were being poured into other things. The whole shabam. That one, that one did have kick, though. I don't know if I liked it or not. Like, I am so... I don't know. That one's probably the weakest so far. Mostly because it has um, either you like it or you don't like it kind of taste. Yeah. It's very divisive. I don't think it's a super versatile. No. Ugh. Okay, our next one here. It's also one you can pick up in a grocery store. Yes. It's Memento... No. No, I don't know how to do this in the, in the Spanish. Is it in Spanish or in the French? Uh, it's definitely Spanish, because if it was French, it'd be the call. De muerte? Oh, that sounds right. Uh, it seems like the moment of death is what it's called. Oh. It's a hot sauce. Black cherry with reaper peppers. Which is weird that it only is 66,000, Scoville? Yeah, because it's Carolina Reaper, which is generally a little stronger. Black cherries, red habanero peppers, so two hot we, peppers in there. We have a request for you to say it again. Say it again. Oh, um, I'm very sorry. I'm not Spanish. Momento de muerte. Very sorry if I'm being awful, but it was requested by somebody who speaks Spanish that I say it again. We've already been doing this for 41 minutes. Has it been 41 minutes? Dude. We're not even halfway through. I felt like we've been sitting here for like five to 10 minutes. So sorry. Oh, apparently you're getting it. <gasps> I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Okay, are you ready for this one? Uh, yes, yes. Now that it's actually turning up here, I'm looking at this milk. I'm getting so scared because, like, we're not anywhere near spicy right now. But, like, I, I can feel the we're not spicy. Oh you, oh, you mean like that sauce like, wise? I mean, like, I think that like, we're I, so early and my tongue is already like, hey, um, I don't know if you're aware, but there are abrasions and uh, they're stinging. Yeah, I thought maybe you were saying, like, our personalities were very spicy today. I, I mean, mean, you're kind of bland. Also, I'm kind of basic. Also, I wore my Godzilla shirt because of the level of spice I expect I would be doing this. One of these. At some point. I, I wore a shirt with red on it so that it would be spicy. Yeah, you, did, you didn't try. Hey, last time I did, like, red makeup all over my face, and then I was sweating, and my makeup was, like, <laughs> going into my eyes, and I was like, not, not today. I'm not doing that twice. All right. This is this one should probably be a nice little this sweet one, kick. Yeah, it's Stargazer, or it's the same company that is Stargazer. Yeah, the other the other hot sauces are actual actual jokes, but Stargazer was good. So maybe this one will be okay. Mm. Yeah, it smells unappetizing. Mm. Yeah, okay. It's probably like a fart. Hmm. Mm. He found a way. Carson found his way <coughs> into the live chat. You okay? As I died. That was a kind of put it on. That was the moment of death right there. That's a very, <coughs> I think it just hit me okay? wrong. I mean, I should have a glass of water, but I'm not doing it. Ugh. So. Um, that's kind of a put it on anything sauce. Like, I feel like there's not much. Yeah, to it. I mean, it, I think the fruit is actually front forward. The fruit, it's the first the thing cherry, that you taste. Yeah. Yeah. I think the cherry is what makes it smell kind of weird, but it's not like Rogue, where it actually also tastes weird. Rogue was a sauce we actually we still have it. It's a blood <laughs> orange sauce that Ryan hates. Because well, it's the blood orange. Is, it, make, it makes anything taste rotten when you eat it because of the blood orange. I think it's really good on gyozas. Do, 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 oh, the John Cena theme. I love that. Actually, those those videos, I love so much. I think they're hilarious. Oh, what is just John Cena? John Cena. Do, 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 do. Yes. Yeah, they're, pretty, they're pretty funny. Whew. What's our next sauce? Ooh, Kajans. This is another one we didn't buy. They just sent it to us. It's called Oh. <laughs> I, I can't read the ethnic. Forgive me for poorly <laughs> reading the ethnic words. Oaxacan. Oh, Hot sauce. It's supposed, it has a really, you're not going to like this. I'm going to read it to you because nobody's going to like what I'm about to read. <laughs> When Cortez discovered the vast food markets of the Aztec Empire, he was astonished by the variety of flavors that this new land of the, can't say it, Quetzalcoatl, Quetzalcoatl, it's been a long time since junior high. Ooh. 
um, had to offer. Our chocolate style Oaxican hot sauce pays tribute to both the bold spirit of the Aztec warriors and those willing to sail halfway around the world to reveal their secrets. And we're taking a bit of a gamble here because on your notes here, this is between 50 to 250,000. Yeah, this could be like a walk in the park, or this could or be Or this could be our death already, not even halfway through this. What is a Kajon's? And Kajon's tends to make very spicy. They're, they yeah. have one of the spiciest. They have Trinidad Scorpion hot sauce. Yeah. yeah so. Who I had that hot sauce, and it I was in so much pain. I can't explain to you the pain that I was in. I was sweating from behind my kneecaps. Yeah. Did you know your ears can drip sweat? I know that now. <laughs> what? <laughs> His ancestry contained in a bottle. <laughs> he's not even, he's human. That's close, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Are you ready? I'm, I'm kind of, I'm getting nervous now. No, oh, we'll be fine. I mean, oh, it's liquidy. I like it. Remember every time that I've been fearless during these? I'm getting less fearless. I ha I'm nervous right now. I mean, I beat you last time we did this. Normally when we do things like this, I'm like, oh, it's fine. Like, what's the worst that can happen? Yeah, and then I'm dying. <laughs> okay. Are I'm zero still, not, still not scared on dabbing. I should have read. Oh, you're only single-siding. I always double-side. This one also smells like it would be good with, um, like, tacos or stuff like that. I'm just trying to try to figure out what that is. I don't know what spice that is, but it's predominant in taco cumin? seasoning. Is it cumin? Might be cumin. It might be cumin. I've never been able I, to I guess the spice. I smell some cayenne. If, if there's, if there's cumin, oh, maybe it's cayenne as well. Maybe cumin, uh, cumin. <laughs> cumin and cumin, cayenne. Cumin and cayenne. But that'll be the first time I've ever identified something. What did Carson say? Oh, what's the worst that can happen during a hot sauce tasting? Well, yeah. we're about to find out. Yeah. Ready? Yep. Hmm. Yeah, that's 50,000. That's not 250. Great for tacos. Yeah, I think the other one might have more diverse flavor. This one hits you with like the, oh, you know what kind of tastes of? I don't know if people have had this. The off brand Doritos. Ariba, I think they're called? Yes, Ariba's. It tastes exactly 100%. like Ariba's. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Wow. I wonder even, well, I mean, we have a, we have a warped perception of, of heat when it comes to spices, but I didn't taste any spice on that. Yeah. I'm just going to flip them around. Yeah, because you don't deserve it. Want to grab the next one? I do. I guess I'm, in, I'm. This is me now. Oh yes, Ooh, another okay. Chipotle. What's this Google on this one? You can read it this Ooh, time. I open it. All right. This one is peach. No, this is fired oh, yeah. up Chipotle. Ooh, I don't think I have an exact number on this one. I think it's between a hundred and something, right? You have it at least I'm down. This one on the other page. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Flashpoint. There we go. Okay, yeah. this is a Flashpoint hot sauce. It's somewhere in and around the 100,000 mark. So yes. we are jumping a bit here. We haven't tried any Fired Up or Flashpoints, as you're saying. So we'll, we'll see if they're one that we're going to want to stick with. They might be yummy. They might be yummy. That's a... What? What do you say? I The screen is so far. I can't read. It says that's a... Silhouette. It almost looks like silhouette. My thing is not updating, so I don't have that up here. I gotta get on to this so I can read his handling. Where's up chat? I mean, where's up chat? Where's live chat? There we go. I can't read any. That's the shitload of hot sauce just got a hold of meaning. Got it. Ah, yes. Good joke. Sorry that our, we're, we're lagging here. More old. I ah, okay. Oh, this one has another one of these. Oh. Oh, yes. I like the smell of that. Another smoky one. Chipotle and smoke, they just go together. They do. Most peppers are better smoked. Just give me about five years and I'll go the front here first. Good job. Yeah. I have weak arms, man. 
I think that's good. I think we're probably fine. Oh, I can't try it. Well, I wanted to. One of my finger. <laughs> okay, would you here for now? Big smoke. Ah, yes. Foo. What? You picked the wrong house, fool. Is there a movie? No, it's um Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. One of my favorite video games of time. Was that the one with the weird uh, hot hamburger order thing? Y yeah, that's about the order, yes. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It tastes like charred wood. <laughs> Not in a bad way. Not at all in a bad way. I don't think people really... eat charred wood, so I'm going to disagree with you. That doesn't okay. sound like a compliment. If you're standing right beside a, a fire that's been burning for like six, seven hours, yeah, and you kind of get the flavor in your mouth, and then you hot dog that fire, it's that flavor. The heat, the heat's kind of coming up here now. Mm -hmm. I think that this is a fire up Chipotle sauce, 100%. It's a good, like, it, I it does feel like a spicy version of what we had earlier. Yeah, it's a good sauce. I like it. I'm not playing by this no-liquid rule, so I'm going to drink milk. You drink all day. I'll be here not drinking. I ain't thirsty. <laughs> Who stands next to fire for seven hours? <laughs> no offense to fires. Uh, this last summer, I went camping with my, my father and my grandfather. And uh, not the most mobile group of people, I'll be honest. So I spent most of my time either with an axe in my hands, with a bourbon in my hands, or sitting reading my book, all of which within 10 feet of a fire. You know, it was the best vacation I've had in a long time. Next one we have up here is actually another Aud Audrey. I want to say Audrey, but it's Aubrey. Aubrey D. This is a Scotch bonnet, which again, Scotch bonnet makes me think that it's not going to be that hot. Scotch bonnet is essentially just another habanero, not a super spicy pepper. Uh, see red habanero, but they're not throwing the red habanero in our face. Is there any, I do kind of have to look at the ingredients to make sure that there isn't anything that's going to kill me. Yeah, that's true. Blueberries, carrots. What's tamari sauce? Oh, soybean. Okay, cool. Oh, and alcohol. Oh, okay, yeah, alcohol. All right. No allergens for you, though. Okay, well, this needs to be. Acceptable reasons. Thank you, Carson. Thank you. I appreciate you, your commentary. Does this one have another one of these? No, they don't. See? They mess around. Ooh, very liquid. Very liquid. Okay. Not viscous. Not viscous. Okay. I kind of smell, I can smell the vinegar on that. I can't stop anything over there. Oh, I can, oh, I can really smell. Oh, it's got particle in it. Like, this is not a smooth blended sauce. This no. is a particle sauce. Oh yeah, that smells. Uh, that smells like apple cider vinegar. Oh, I do like apple cider vinegar. Oh yeah, you ready? Yeah. No. No, I'm good. I'm good on that. That's a little bit of kick. I'm getting the kick now, but not feeling any heat. I think. Yeah, it does taste a lot like apple cider vinegar. Yeah, like that, almost like all it tastes like. It's a very weak sauce. That is some weak sauce. Which is weird because the Chipotle one's good. Yeah, the Chipotle, yeah. I don't know. Not companies don't always like hit it out of the park with every sauce though. I mean that's true. There there are very few. I remember, but yeah. oh, you're gonna get to break the special seal. You can break the seal. Here. No, it's fine. I don't know how to break the seal. So you're gonna have to do it. <laughs> okay, so this sauce is a Blair sauce now. We have had our share of Blair's, and Blair's is a painful sauce. This one is the collector's edition, hence why it has this, like, rubber thing on here. I think I can maybe twist it. No, this is one of the hot sauces. I think we have a couple on here that actually have pepper extract in it. Yeah. Pepper rip it off. So pepper extract if you, is kind of the lazy way of getting hot sauce hot. It's also the most painful way to eat it. Yeah, because usually pepper extract, like, Pumps it up like ten times the heat, and it's crazy. Oh goodness, they really don't want you to have this. Yeah. So this one has extract in it, so I'm a bit nervous, but it also has a lot of different flavors going on in it. It's like it's sealed, man. It is sealed on the bottle. I guess it's wax for you. Can I have a knife? A butter knife? Yes. <sighs> Excuse me for a moment. I. D just break the bottle and then use the colander. 
Colander's not the right choice. <laughs> I understand you're saying like to get the glass shards out, but then where do I keep the sauce, Carson? Twitch. It just it just exposed the air at that point. I mean, yeah, it's a bad solution. I like that you're ingenuitive. The engineering's coming in here. I, I'm not doing it. It is like so. Oh. Oh, I thought that was the night part. I also oh. thought that was the night. It's, like not, it's not even just wax. It's like a rubberized plastic. Why do they care so much? Because it's a collector's edition. But it's not even that worth that much money. I know. It's worth like $13. <laughs> yeah. What's the point of doing this? Imagine it was something simple. It's like you just had to like twist a bit the other way or something. <laughs> We'll be here all day. Honey, can you try? I can try. It just doesn't twist. It's such an angry bottle. It does not want to be opened. You can do that. I can shatter it? Yeah. Turn class here full time now. Oh. That thing goes drip, drip. It, no, you were right. The colander goes drip, drip, but it just isn't the right thing for us right now. Uh, a hammer, I do have one in front of us, but I'd rather not use it. And Devin, we're glad to have you with us. Thank you for watching us fail to open hot sauces and then eat them. If I do something dumb, I'm going to walk off camera and do something dumb. And then I can comment on how dumb that was that you just did. Dad, what are you doing with that gun? <laughs> You're not even allowed one of those. Not for any reason, for an Alberta in an apartment. You can't have guns there. Never mind. You know. Do they? Do they know? Get the sword. No. It's oh. not a toy. Oh my god. Okay, I, I made a terrible sword. mistake. R Roberto. Oh, of course, because he, so, he knows about it. Yeah. I came home one day and I was like, hey, Ryan, just so you know, I got a sword today. Didn't pay for it. I just have a sword now. And he was so excited and immediately he wanted to take it out, play with it. And I was like, wait. It has a sharpened edge. It has been used to like cut things. Don't play with the sword. So he's like, okay, I understand. It's not a play, not a play toy. It's 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 a real sword. We're gonna be careful. So then our, his friend comes over and he's like, dude, you gotta look at this sword and unsheaths it. And immediately his friend goes, Oh, I wanna play with it. I'm like, this is why boys can't have swords. Swords are for ladies. Make the sauce, oh, no, put it the other way. What do you say? Oh, I think, uh, <laughs> I can tell how much lag Devin has, because he's just getting to, like, glad to be here. Oh, God. You're still having a hard time? Okay, I'm going to go off screen to do some dumb stuff. Um, I guess I'll entertain our guests here. You can tell our hot sauce tree. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but we have sriracha. We have, we have um, cleaned our hot sauces once we've eaten them, used them, and then put paint in them. And use them as decorations for our tree. Yeah, I add, uh, I punch holes through the top of them. Yeah. And then I put ornament hangers in them. Yep. Yeah. So uh, we still have a couple more to put out because the tree is still not perfect yet. We'll have, we have about. But only sauces we like go on the tree. Yeah, the rest get thrown in the garbage. Like rogue when it's. So hateful. Uh, Dirty D is on there. Really? Louisa, uh, uh, what is it? Pain is good. Number two eighteen is on there. That was a good sauce. That's a good one. Yeah. I mean, they can only see a couple of them. There's this one, this one, and then these two they can see. Uh, uh, I think they can see is right now because it's like right through. <laughs> the other ornaments on the tree are ones that I painted myself because this is our first year ever having a tree. Yeah. So we didn't really have ornaments or anything. No. Why would they do this to a hot sauce? Why? Like, I thought this would be a fun, like, oh, just get it off. Of this nope. isn't a letter from Napoleon. <laughs> Why is it so hard to open? I don't know. Also, Napoleon wasn't short. Do you know that? Uh, yeah, I know that. That was a propaganda thing. Yeah, because I wanted, yeah. Yeah, right? History. Yeah, I know about it, kind of. You, well, yeah, you kind of, you majored in it. Yeah. Good, good degree. I love looking at our education because we have them all framed, and then I just kind of look at them and go, "Hmm, I think we don't do anything with those those all that money we put into our educations." I get to talk about prime ministers and presidents. Wait, can we play the game? 
Oh, but if, if I fail on camera here, then everyone, no one will ever... Your credibility is gone. Your credibility is gone. Okay, I'll, I'll throw you an easy one. Okay. 2016. 2016. Prime Minister and President. Go ahead. Isn't that uh, just Trump and Trudeau? Yeah, that's just Trump and Trudeau. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, I'll throw you another easy one. In 1937, who was the Prime Minister of Canada? Who was the President of the United States? 1937 would have been... Um, uh, okay. Also, somebody can fact check him. William Ryan Mackenzie King was 1937, I believe. Yes. Uh, William Ryan Mackenzie King, and then pri and then you said president would have been the uh, would have been Roosevelt. Um, oh, my not goodness. Theodore. Uh, uh, FDR. So Franklin Delano Roosevelt. I think I might have gotten it. I heard melted. Melted has been has been suggested. Okay, I think. I'm bringing the no. I can't bring. I can't bring that with me on screen. I'm hoping. <laughs> what? Carson is asking very good historical questions. Like, what? Well, what's the difference between a president and a prime minister? I mean, that's uh, the country different you're in? political system entirely. But which Canadian prime minister do you think would be able to take the hottest hot sauces versus all the other prime ministers? That's a good question. Who do I think has Klein. the Klein? Klein would take the hottest. Uh, Ralph Klein uh, oh, it makes good tools. So I managed to get it to this point. I can't get it maybe, on the cap. Maybe Pierre Trudeau. Maybe. I just talk. Okay, so did we tell them? Okay, we got kind of stuck on the fact we could open the bottle. So Blair's Beyond Death it's is like, 99,760 Scovilles. Yeah. Now, I couldn't get the, the plastic off the cap. I so. think it looks fine like that. Not very. Okay. Are you, are you nervous? I'm getting kind of nervous. This I'm is getting a, nervous. This is a also our chicken McNuggets are very cold now. Uh, that is fine. This is now for the hot sauce. All right, maybe I should stop double dipping my my in at this point. Okay, I think you. That's a. Uh, oh. That's only ninety nine thousand. We'll be fine. Again, famous last word. <laughs> so I say every time. I start getting scared. cut two and then just <laughs> us. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that just smells like death. It smells like citrus death. Did you double dip or single dip? I single dipped on one side. Oh, you kind of double dip. Okay. We're so early on. But like, like, it's citrus death. It smells like citrus death. Oh Borden? God! Did Roberto say Borden? I was thinking Borden actually. I w for some reason we're on the same wavelength here. We think Borden's a tough guy. I think Borden could have done it. I don't want to eat this now. I recognize that smell. It's the smell of pain. Oh, he's bold. Actually, I can't see your face. Wait. Yeah, that's that. Mmm. That's not 99,000. That is. Oh, actually, you know what? With the pepper extract, you can probably bump it up a bit. Oh, my mouth. It's kind of like Mad Dog. Yeah. Mm-mm. No, no. Are you having a negative reaction to it, dear? Yes. Are you not? Not mine. <sighs> You're right. I'm right. Your mouth is on fire. I'm in so. I mean, much yes, I, I'm. I'm in very much discomfort in my mouth because of the pepper extract. It's cheap, cheats, and we have like eight hot sauces to go. I don't want to anymore. This is the one that I might like consider milk or water. But as they say, we push through. You don't get no break. You don't break. Ooh, grapes of wrath. This one is the most interesting out of all the ingredients. Let me see. Uh, we do have the bomb, but we're actually not having it in this. Yeah, we've had the bomb a few times already. The bomb is cruelty. It's not really a hot sauce. It's more of like a, I want this thing to be kind of hot, so I add a little drop of it to make it spicy because it's not a good hot sauce. It does not have any good flavor. It tastes like battery acid. I put like a little tiny bit when I'm making like noodles in that to give it spice for the whole broth or like in a stew. Yeah, like you add it to other hot sauces to make it hotter, but you not, not by itself it's garbage. Don't, don't do it. 
Which is weird because they also make uh, Louisiana paint is good, which is actually really good. So. Yeah, that's really good. But yeah, this one is like, this is actually holiday specific themed. It's seasonal. And that's because it has a um, holiday spices and fruit stuff filled with it. What's in that one? I don't want to read it because my eyes are going to fall off because of how small that printing is. Uh, my tongue, like all the cuts of my tongue are burning. Okay. Grape juice. More grape juice. Yeah, it's just fine. You're right. Yeah. Pickled red cabbage. Weird. Um, apple pieces. Red cabbage. Red habanero ash. Um, Cabernet wine. Blueberries. Ginger. Strawberries. Light brown sugar. Honey, blackberries, salt, lime, Trinidad, scorpion pepper mash, oh, I didn't pumpkin want to hear that. pie spice, which is just nutmeg, cinnamon, and uh, cloves, and garlic. Mm -hmm. So we, this is a weird hot sauce. It's a weird hot sauce. There's a reason why it's seasonal. So it's going to, hopefully it tastes like Christmas. Oh, it has a lot of sediment. Shake her good. All right. I really hope it makes you feel like Christmas Day. We have an assumption. Between 50 to 250,000. Also, for the rest of the video, we're going to probably speak weirdly because when we speak, our mouths hurt. Oh, yeah. Like, it is a tunnel of pain down my tongue. Oh, I my God. I, what? It smells festive. Oh, oh, I got very scared. Generally, oh, my God, is like we're going to be in a lot of pain. Probably, but also, it smells festive. <laughs> So it's just a punishment. We have used a bomb as a, as a punishment, and we'll never do it again. It's it's honestly too cruel. No, we can't do that to somebody. Okay. It's it's pretty awful. Man, I just, it does smell like Christmas. My tongue hurts so bad. I don't want to do this. We're going to do only one devil. We're not going to do double. What do you mean we're going to do double? Smell Who are it. you? Double dab. Come on. Come on. Oh. Doesn't it smell oh. like Christmas? It smells like... It smells like Christmas crossed over with like leftovers from Thanksgiving. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Okay, you ready? Hmm. Thankfully, that's a step down from Blair's. Yeah, it's not really all that spicy in comparison. No. I don't know what you would add it to exactly. Three. Yeah, I guess you go for cheeses. I think soft, like more mellow, maybe uh, like a raclette. Maybe, you know, pumpkin pie. I don't yeah. think you'd eat that with pumpkin pie. You might have it with pumpkin pie. Nobody tried pumpkin that pie. It might work. If you've ever had a really good pumpkin pie, you think, ooh, I, you know what would make this homemade pie better? That, you're wrong. Stop yourself. Or you're right. We don't know yet. Okay, I will make you another pumpkin pie, and I will that? cover the, the pie in that and see how you feel. I guess we'll see. Make a the pumpkin pie. Okay, this is another one that has extract in it. I didn't realize oh. until <laughs> after. <laughs> it hurts so much. Like, natural sauces, you can go up to, like, 800,000. And you're like, oh, it hurts. But it's not like an artificial, like, somebody taking razor blades to the back of your tongue. Yeah. I don't know why the razor blades take such long swipes. Is it, is it like you're on leather? Is that what you're doing? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. What's it, iguana? Iguana and fugue, which means on fire. Because I speak Spanish. Oh, uh, fuego? And fuego, yeah. You speak Spanish, huh? Exactly what I said. Oh, uh, fuego. Like, do, do I even have it on here? Yeah, it's right there. Wait, oh, yeah, it could be anywhere from a quarter million to a million scopes. We don't know. It kind of smells like tomato sauce, which is not a good smell. I don't get to smell it. You don't get to smell that, That's That seems fair. It's it cold. Actually, you know, okay, everyone else has, has had hot sauce at our house. I don't know. Devin, what's your favorite hot sauce? And also, does anyone want to do the hot sauce uh, challenge part two? We did that once at the house. I mean, oh, yeah. we can't do it right now. But if anyone wants to scale our hot sauce ladder again, you're watching the effects of it live. What's well, affecting you? I'm, I'm changed. I have so many cuts on my yeah, tongue. Yeah, Devin, what's your favorite hot sauce? Or, or, or do you not 
Have you ventured out like us? Oh, he noticed a bomb. He probably has hot sauce. Hey, Randall. You dip first. We're only doing one, though, because this is 250,000. Oh. I double dipped. Me male. Oh, Roberto says he will redeem himself. Oh, he won't. Hot sauce. He won't. He'll, he'll, he'll be done by the third sauce. He's and uh, Devin says he's a rookie to the sauce game. He's only had a few. Hey, what's your favorite? Yeah, what's your favorite of what you had? Oh, it smells. I can smell that. There's a distinct smell of the hot sauce that will hurt you. He says, I like Nando's, but I don't think that counts. Oh, counts. Perry we, Perry? We caught their extra hot Perry Perry. It tasted like lime juice. Just lime like, juice. It was literally just lime juice. Oh, I don't want to eat this. Oh. <laughs> that was it? <laughs> okay. This one's not killing us. Oh, but don't speak too soon. I spoke way too soon. Now I can feel the heat. Eh. You know what? Blair still has more heat. Oh, yeah. This one is not causing, like, as much, much but pain. It's, it's, but I can feel it. It's, I can really feel it. By the way, I'm not getting fired or anything. She was telling me that she found cranberries at Costco. I was talking about how I couldn't find cranberries when I went to Costco. And that was, that was the whole thing. That was the whole thing. I got all worried. Kind of Mystery thing. solved. Yeah, that one's tolerable. Like, I don't think it's a good sauce. Yeah, I don't think it's that good. Um, but it's like to marinate chicken in because you don't keep all that heat when you cook it. Like that'd be decent. Yeah, I mean, I mean, to, to each them. Obviously, you might might say this thing and find something in Nando's that we just don't like or thought was kind of. Oh, I was talking about this sauce. I was in Nando's. But, no, no, but this is Nando's in general because he said he's going to get more Nando's stuff. I mean, you're welcome to. There, it's not really where I'd call. Like that's not a super flavorful sauce. Maybe we need to send you some sauces. <laughs> Yeah, we could. Um, so next one we're trying is called Angry Co Pepper Black Bison Hot Sauce, and this is a very hot sauce. It is. It's also, hot. 2016 Scoville winner. Scoby. It's Scoville. a Scoville award. I want to go to, like, a, if they have, like, a festival or, like, a Comic-Con of hot sauces, Ooh, I, I love would that. love to go. We need to do that for hot sauces, cigars. I'd do one for, for hard liquors, let's be honest. I, I, I would just go for the first one, the hot sauces. That would be the one I'd like to you want to go to a cigar festival? I don't know. I don't got the I don't got that as as much love, I guess, for it as you do. But I do like cigars. I do love cigars. Okay, so this one is somewhere in and around the two hundred thousand mark. Did you move uh, that one down? This one? Yeah, because it was not as hot as uh, as players. Yeah, yeah, I guess we'll move players. So hotter than this one, though. Yeah. Yeah, because there, like there's a burn on my tongue, and I recognize that it's oof, all very good sounding. All berries. It's something. Oh my goodness. Berries. Which berries are in that one? Uh, red cherries, red raspberries, and blackberries. Okay, so a nice little that's summer true. blend. Yeah. You think that's good? Yes. You think that's good? Now is it good? Hi. <laughs> I'm excited for the berry. You doubled? I always double. No, you double. I don't. I didn't double throw the first half though. I didn't realize we were doing that. So. Yeah, stuff, honey. <sighs> you ready? I think I'm, I think the hot sauce are having a cumulative effect on me now. Oh yeah, you have enough of them. Like even okay, the sauce is down here. This is something I should probably explain to people who don't eat a lot of hot sauce. If you have enough of any one sauce, it'll start to build up in your mouth. So if like over here, we're having a little bit. We're like, oh, this is yummy. But if you were to cover an entire piece of chicken with it and ate mouthful after mouthful of it, it would eventually get to you. Mmm. That's very sweet. It's very sweet. It's good. That was to dip your sausage into it. For breakfast. Sweet but spicy. Good. Yeah, not very much to add to it. it is, you taste the three berries. Yeah, it tastes like berries and heat. Yeah, that's not a bad thing, pretty simple. No. Okay, now I think now we've stepped into the hell. This is hell over here. Starting with this one. Salem's lot. Salem's lot. Oh, is this one? Which one is this one? Don't fear or do fear the reaper? Do fear the reaper. 
do for the Reaper is somewhere in and around 400,000. So we could be jumping about 200,000. This is going to hurt. Why do I do this? Like... Because it's fun at the time. It's like, hey, this would be a fun idea. Yeah, and then I think we're stupid. We wait long enough to forget how painful it was, and we don't watch the videos again to be like, hey, how bad was that? But, like, my gums are at the front are starting to hurt. Okay. I, there, I don't know if there's anything specific about this one that makes it interesting other than it's just a hot sauce. I'm just prepping the milk. It's <laughs> a good idea. You want some milk? <laughs> Eventually, probably, I will. Because I'm going to drink it all before you get there. Does it also smell like death? Yes. I assume most of these are going to just smell like death. But the seasons don't fear the reaper. Right, I'm kind of fearing the reaper right now. We're not double, are we? I don't know. These are like 400,000. I think our doubling days are over. You remember when we were smarter, and when we first started doing this, we put, like, just a tiny, tiny bit? No. Oh. Is that onion that hits you first? Yeah, it tastes like it. Yeah, like the onion hits you. And so it begins. No. Oh, sorry. Now it ends. But the seasons don't fear the reaper, nor do the wind, the sun, or the rain. Then he says, come on, guys! What's he quoting? The also, seasons never change then? This one is also not as spicy as Blair's was. I would like those to flip to the other side. No. I, I think it's so... I mean, but Blair's is cheating, though. Blair's doesn't deserve to be part of this. Okay, but Blair's needs to be accurately represented for the amount of pain it causes on this table. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to take a sippy sippy. So am I not? Still got it, guys. It says, Don't Fear the Reaper by uh, Cool Oyster Cold. Ah, that, that, was, that was so obvious that I should have gotten it immediately. Yeah, considering it's the title of the song. Another one has a reaper on it. Grim Peacher. Oh, Gr I was excited about Grim Peacher until I realized it might kill us. It's uh, somewhere in and around a half million. In or around, you know. Give or take. <laughs> Honey, we're jumping up to 1.5 today. There's no coming back from that. Like, I'm going to cry. I might pee myself. I don't know. Please don't. I'm going to try not to. Okay. I want to say, please smell like peaches. Please. For the love of God, so many peaches. You no, know, this one smells like um, another uh, Spanish one. Oh, it smells very, yeah. I want to say cumin. I want to say the, the ingredient is cumin. I, I recognize the smell from my mom when I was little. Like, I remember the, the look of the bag of the spice, but I don't remember what it is. It looks like would be though. I feel like, like, aside from us talking about the pain, we're fronting pretty well. Like, if we didn't say anything, would people know we're in pain? No, I think I'm running off a good appearance. You know what Blair's did not. You did no, it hurts fell so apart immediately. My tongue is split. It hurts so bad. I should have waited a few days, but I couldn't. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I don't know. This isn't. I'm not scared of this one. Didn't even double I'll dip. double dip. I'll double dip. I'm just not scared of this one. This one doesn't scare me. It does have a nice fragrance. Yeah. Hmm. It's so subtly sweet. That's a really lovely sauce. Also, it is not very spicy at all. I'm waiting for it to kind of trick me here, as I've been tricked before. That's true. Some do have a slow ramp up. No, it, it tastes like a peach, like a sweeter version of the uh, taco. I probably put it like here, though. Maybe here. Like, yeah. It's not very spicy at all. Is there a low end on your? No, it's just around four hundred thousand. Oh, that I don't believe that. No, it's a way lower. You want to adjust it for accurately represent? No. I mean, Blair, okay, Blair's, I'll move it. 
<laughs> that's just okay. Is it under Blair's? Yeah, that that's the that's the limit here now. Okay, so now we have six feet under. So six feet under. Yeah. Oh, also somewhere around the four hundred thousand mark, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Can't believe we're almost. Are we at an hour and a half? Almost? Hour and twenty. How has it taken? Like, why is it taking us so long? The pain. I think it's the pain. We're also because we're, we're, we're trying to chit chat. Ooh. <gasps> you made a mess on the table. Oh, that does not inspire confidence. Oh no. This smells like, like death. Pure death. Well, this is made out of <laughs> Carolina Reaper peppers, ghost peppers, pumpkin, a lovely, uh -huh. vinegar, garlic, onions, lemon juice, and sea salt. Generally, ingredients are um, done by amount, like volume. So your first ingredient is normally what there is physically the most of in, in the recipe, which means there is more hot peppers than there is anything else in this recipe. Ghost peppers get pretty hot. Like that's a that's a spicy ass. Well, that's gonna hurt. Someone send their prayers. Their thoughts and their prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Oh, we got a double dip. Yeah, because you you've made up this horrible rule. Because you gotta get a full flavorful. Come like, in. Is that good enough? I think. Oh my god, it's gonna hurt. I miss when I wasn't scared of hot sauces. Because we didn't used to buy them that were insane. We used to be like, oh, look, it's 100,000. Yeah, we're, we're not reasonable people anymore. Okay, right? No. The flavor is terrible. Pumpkin is not a good base. You don't think so? No. Not very spicy, but the flavor is awful. I mean, the heat's kicking in a bit, no? I can feel it. I feel a little bit of a tingle, but... I'm going to actually just blow my nose disgusting. Okay. I did not hear you blow your nose. No, I didn't. I did not do. You had a tissue. Oh, for my issues. Hope we haven't uh, lost any of you. Nobody said their their prayers for us, so obviously they don't care if this they, kills us. They wish our death and a painful one. Oh, this oh one no! Is the one I was excited for. Okay, this one is six hundred twenty five thousand. Yeah, we know that this one is actually at that level. Yeah. it's not just about. This is supposed to be one of the best or one of the better natural hot hot sauces or very hot hot sauces. I should say. I don't know. Big Fast was kind of the name in the game for that. Yeah. So. Oh, cool. Burn Baby Burn. That was our latest. Disco Inferno. Oh, burn Baby Burn. I'm getting there. Don't worry. This isn't the wax one. I that was an adventure. That was an hour of this. Was just me getting the wax up. That Pretty thing. much. Yeah. Damn, that it sucks. You guys don't know what kind of knives I had to wield back there. <laughs> like, I saw a machete at one point. It was crazy. I machete. I wish I had a machete. I also want a meat cleaver. That's the thing I want. I don't have one. Yeah, meat cleaver would be cool. I don't even think I'd really ever use it. I just want to have one. So that, like, somebody says something questionable while I'm in the kitchen and I just lean out in my dirty apron that has, sus like, suspicious blood and a very shiny meat cleaver. See, now I'm just being professional because I want to take this stuff off of the lid. Oh, you're the worst. Uh, you're tacky and I hate you. Swords are not toys, Eva. Yeah, but meat cleavers are. <laughs> I, I don't think that's, I don't think that holds actually. But meat cleavers aren't toys. I don't or are toys? I, I don't think that. Aren't works. all of my knives kind of just toys? That does not hold water. Yeah, you don't hold water. Actually, I do. My body does hold water. It's kind of built for that. <laughs> uh, you are, in fact, mostly water. Okay, 
my nose is starting to get like runny. <laughs> yeah, same. Okay. Oh, I like the smell. Oh, um, um, I don't trust you. Oh, yeah, it smells kind of smoky, right? I don't really like the smell, but it's it's not a. It's bad hopeful. Smell. It's a hopeful smell. It's not like I'm dying smelling this. T and G reference. Huh? Which one? Swords are not toys. Was it a TNG reference? You should know you're the TNG expert. Nah, I just watched DS9 again. I'm not sure about that. Two chicken nuggets. Oh, okay, stop stop the I'm very sorry. You see this? This is what we call a double dipper, right? I know you're not familiar with it, but <laughs> us hardcore hot sauce. I have been the double dipper for every hot sauce video. I was the champion of it'll be fine. Just put more on. Oh, look how little you're picking on. I'm trying to scrub it on here. You didn't put much on the plate. Because we're at 600,000. Ready? Oh, that wasn't so bad. Okay, so he said it's a TNG reference. Then what? No. Explain yourself, because I don't know what you're talking about. What was a TNG reference? I don't know if I like it. The, it was very vinegary. Like, I could taste the apple cider vinegar. I, it's not very hot sauce. It's spicy. It's spicy, but... That layer is more painful than anything else. Because pepper extract, if you cheat, you're able to accomplish wonders. Okay. We're the last one? We're at the last one. Yes. This one is gonna hurt so bad. One point five six nine million. So we, I mean, jumping... we said about like really, we said about this, but then none of it has been that much. Players hurt. Players hurt a lot, but maybe we're just that adapted to hot sauce. Maybe the hot sauce life, we're just so used to it now. Do you think we have too many hot sauces? No, never. I think we need more. Actually, I'm still thinking of getting more. We don't need more sauces not until these kind of run low. Don't. Yeah, I, I think I could classify that as decaying, dying, a little bit. But I, I you know what? I'm, I'm going to go out and live here and think that it's not going to be 1.5 filler as it says it's going to be. It has strawberries. That's good. Scotch bonnet, creeper, mandarins. You hate that. Uh, <laughs> the dying, decaying, dying flavor. It's not a good flavor, but it is a flavor. Do you fear death? Not at this moment, actually. Oh, sorry. The line is more than you could more than you could imagine. What is something like that? More than you could possibly imagine. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I think be cautious with that is why. I think I think we're good. <laughs> We were cautious and then we weren't cautious. Oh, my cheeks are still on fire. Actually, I think I've kind of run the wave there and I think I'm okay. I waited it out. <sighs> okay. Did you double? Yeah, I doubled. Mm -hmm. Well, you do whatever you want. Just, I'll just know that you are full. I it's covered. Okay. Mm. Come on, hot sauce. Kill me. You were breaking doses. I have like, there's an inkling of perhaps slight discomfort. <laughs> Come on. Come on. He's going in for more. Kill me. Oh, extra. Oh, there's two more. Oh, I want to pick one that I really liked and have another one. Yeah, I think we should vote on our favorite here. So, that's it, folks. The Reaper 51 was not like 1.5 million. I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Because that 99 million kill, or 99, not 99 million, 99,000 
killed me. Yeah. That's like, okay, whatever. Okay. So of all the hot sauces you've had today. Which is my favorite. Yes. You can give approximates because there's a couple of them have been quite good. Obviously, it's this one. She'd like to have this one again. Oh, heartbeat. Well, it was super mild, but it's so much flavor. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, what do I think was the best one? What do you guys think would be the best one? You wash your faces. Huh. So if we can't go for the same one. You didn't have any milk or water. Nope. You made it through 21 sauces without milk. Or water. Was it a third cup? Second. You know what? I'm going to try sauce bay again. Sauce bay might be one of the better ones. I wonder if we're going to taste them after what we just put in our mouth. Yeah, yeah pretty much, yeah. Uh, that's the best one. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah, it's still good after lighting my mouth on fire. He says, mix them all together. I'm not doing that. I don't want to know the, the <coughs> hell on earth that that is. Okay. Is yeah. that a little too strong for you? No, I laughed while eating it. So, <coughs> went down the wrong throat. Throat? Went down the wrong throat. I didn't know you had multiple. Long you need things. redundant organs. Am I right, on? I mean, having that extra heart did save work. Now that was a TNG reference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so we did it. Wasn't as hard as I was expecting it. I still think our first hot sauce video was probably the hardest hot sauce video. I've and ever. our highest our hottest... was 100,000. We are 10 times hotter than that now. I remember Sriracha hurt. Yeah, it was never that bad. It was never that bad. <sighs> ah, kapla. Um, I think this was the least painful video. Yeah, I last was it the last video or the video before where I was literally like tongue out of my mouth. It was probably the last. Panting. No, maybe not big fat, but the one before that, yeah, too. That hurt. That hurt real bad. So I guess uh, thanks for watching. I don't know if there's you guys have any last thoughts, any questions. Um, so yeah, we'd recommend. Okay, so we're gonna probably cut off like from here this way. <laughs> for, for you the guys. Person. For you guys. So red habanero was good. The yeah, was yeah, Majesty, I'd recommend the chipotle one if you like a nice smoky one. It was good. Hearts nice hot sauce all together. It was your pick. It was yummy. This one is kind of more like a like a sweet sauce kind of uh, jalapeno one. Eh. Tapito, I need to try it a couple more times, but I was very unimpressed with it. Sauce bay has an interesting taste. I think, okay, if I may, good for hot dogs, decent for tacos. Yeah. That's really what I got out of it. Yeah. Well, whew, this was an adventure. It was, I'm glad I went on it with you. Oh, don't be sweet now. He's cute. All right, well, I think we're going to go and... Um, I really hope that my stomach does not hurt horrifically tomorrow while I'm at work. I need to actually have a meal because I'm still hungry. GGWP, what does that mean? GGW, good game with, with, well, oh, good game, well played. Ah, thank you. Also, three or four mild flavored ones and two hot, hot ones. I would I would like your reviews when you get your sauces. Please, you you can text me. I would like to know what you get and how you find them. What did you say? He's gonna get some hot sauces. Well, I mean, I'm curious what he means by three hot hot ones. Like, what is he talking about hot? hot yeah, ones? how hot is hot to you? Yeah, I'm very curious because he seems like Nando's. Nando's is pretty. Nando's is very like hot. Hot would be this if that was. Yeah, I feel like 90% of people on Earth would not eat what we eat. What is, he said I'll definitely let you know. Oh, All please right. do. Please do. We're always on the lookout for more hot sauces, more 
unique taste in hot sauces, good hot sauces in general. How many sauces have we tried at this point? Like, uh, 90s? No. Like, 40, at least 60. We've I'd, say, least I'd say 60, 60, 60 70 is sweet. No, he says he likes the flavor of Nando's, but hot, hot enough to hurt. Oh, well, I mean, I, I'm curious where your pain threshold is. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I'd be very curious because, uh, yeah, we can recommend ones between like 50 and 100,000, which would be a nice kick. I could just email you our, uh, our list here if you want. I, I can do that for you. And I kind of give you an idea because we did all the research of how hot these were. Um, of just how hot they are. Yeah. I think we're done. I think we're done. Unless anybody has anything else. Thank you for the people for watching. Thank you for commenting. We appreciate it. I said yes, please do. Okay, I'll email this to you. Um, yeah. Thank you for being on this adventure. Who was I? It was I. Thank you for this in my life. This is his fault, by the way. A long time ago, somebody, me, was watching Hot Ones and was like, ooh, some of these look good. And he's like, well, why don't we look into them? And that was a dangerous thing to say, because here we are like a year and a half later, 60 sauces down our belt, and we're just getting and hotter. We're, and we're laughing at this 1.5 million one. We're just laughing at it. 1.5 million. That's it's ridiculous. You and Bobby shouldn't take that. Anyways, okay, we are done. Thank you very much for watching. If I were to close this off, as I do with all my other videos, which is a little embarrassing because friends of mine are watching. Also, you're, you're, also you're going to have to, like, after you're doing that, you know, just... Oh, yeah, I do have to do that, too. All right, well, anyways, I'm Eva. This is Ryan. If you guys like the live stream, please do hit like. Yeah, let's know if you guys want us to do this again. We'll, we'll do another live stream of whatever. Ooh, I would like to do more live streams. This so, yeah. Fun. Okay, you screwed up my outro. I'll do it again. Anyways, I'm Eva. This is Ryan. If you guys like the live stream, please hit like, comment down below, and hit subscribe so we can see you guys next time. And then excuse me while I take a second. <laughs>